Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome to How to Connect with Goddess Inanna. A goddess Inanna is an ancient goddess from Sumeria and she really goes back many, many thousands of years. We have poetry, hymns and songs all about her in her aspect as Inanna from 2000 to 3000 BC. And then in the archetype of fertility goddess, again, we have depictions and pictures and tales of her going back 10, 20, some even 30,000 BC. So she has been supporting women and having her stories and this told for a really, really long time. So she has lots of wisdom to share with you. She is the goddess of heaven and earth. And she covers all aspects of woman, so she's quite unusual in that in her stories and her tales, she is not just mother or crone, she is maiden, she is lover, she is wife, she is daughter, she is priestess, she is wise woman, and she is queen. So she is really there for us, no matter what stage we're in and no matter what archetype that we're hoping to work with. In ancient Sumeria, she was also goddess of love and war, divine justice and politics. And she is a really loving goddess to connect with. So here are my top three tips to connect with goddess Inanna. So my first tip is to connect with Venus. And Venus as in the celestial being that travels through the sky. So the ancient Sumerians knew about Venus and the travels of Venus through the sky, dancing around the moon and the sun and the earth. And they m explained this movement through the sky, through the stories of Inanna. So through her descent into the underworld and then her ascent. So when she appeared and reappeared and they knew her as the morning star and as the evening star. And when Venus makes its dance in the sky, it creates this beautiful five petaled rose over the eight years of its travel. So I really invite you to connect into Venus in the planet and all her aspects and to really track her and follow her. And there are major conjunctions that happen within this eight year cycle and they'll be really significant for your personal heart chakra journey and your spiritual development. And also then you will know if you track her, you'll know when she is the morning star and when Venus is the evening star. So for example, at the moment we're in autumn 2020 when I'm filming this and she is currently the morning star. So you'll be seeing her at dawn and I invite you to go out and look at her, take her in and bathe in her beautiful light. And I do explain more about the Venus cycle and share lots of insights in my private Facebook group. So do check that out as well. So my second tip for connecting with goddess Inanna is to connect with her as the goddess of the heavens. So her element in this aspect is really the element of air and she significantly works through and with this element of air. So air symbolising many things, communication, our breath, throat chakra, hearing, and listening, Anana puts her ear to the great below, to the ground, and it's about listening intuitively. So you can connect with the element of air in a few different ways, but here are my suggestions. So I invite you, first of all, to really bring into your space incense. And the incense that's particularly connected with Anana is oud, sandalwood, and musk. So I invite you to use those three if you're going to do any kind of rituals or just when you're reading about her, when you're out with Venus, watch the incense, how it dances and moves through the air. Another way to connect with the element of air is through dancing with veils or silks, fans, wings and feathers. And you can use with these veils, you can use or the wings as well, anything. Use the colours of lavender and pink. So these soft feminine colours that really are symbolic of Inanna and that she loves as well. And then also just connecting with the element of air by going outside and being in the wind, feeling it on your skin 
and in your hair listening to the whispers and the tales and the stories and consciously thinking about your breath and how it moves and dances through the air. My third tip for connecting with Goddess Anana is really holding space for your shadows. So the tale of Anana, the descent of Inanna, is really about her choosing to go down into underworlds. And this is really unusual. In lots of myths and tales, the goddesses are kidnapped or forced or taken down into underworld. Inanna is really inspirational to us in that she chooses to go down to underworld she's curious about the great below and the great below really symbolizing those shadow aspects of ourself and our inner depths and our inner underworld and she goes down there by choice to explore out of curiosity travels through the seven gates everything being stripped of her that is symbolic of her queenliness and her ornaments of all that she has achieved in her life until finally in the depth she meets death and her story is really a reminder to go with compassion curiosity and love to those shadow dark and deep aspects of ourself and also a reminder that when we are in those dark places in the dark night of the soul which we all experience to know that even when we are down there, that we will ascend again at some point, you know, like the dance of Venus. It's a roller coaster. It's a dance we're spinning and turning ups and downs and to really hold ourselves in those spaces and to know that there we can learn great things, that we can have revealed to us real insights and learn about all of us and therefore embrace all of us because it all contributes so have a wonderful time with Anana and connecting in with her she's a really supportive goddess thank you for listening and I hope that these are helpful and then if you'd love to work with Anana more like I said in my private Facebook group I have a longer hour-long meditation introduction to Inanna and I also in another video talk about Venus and their cycles and also, very soon, so exciting, um, we're having an online event, so an immersion with Inanna called Inanna's Descent. And this is a 10 day online immersion that I am leading involving sacred storytelling, guided meditation, goddess journeys, movement, medicine, dance healing. So I invite you to come along and join us for this celebration and this immersion to really dive deep into the story, the gifts, the myth and the legends of Goddess Inanna. So thank you so much for listening. Remember to subscribe and check out all my other videos about goddesses and any questions then do just email or check out my website under the dancing tree.co.uk. Lots of love.